Priyank with me. Hi, my name is Priyank Mathur. I okay. am the founder and CEO of Mythos Labs. That's great. Based in Boston, right? That's right. We're headquartered in Boston. We have people all over South Asia, Southeast Asia, North Africa, and okay. Eastern Europe. So what do you got to do with the Global World Congress? Well, we were invited here to showcase uh, our company as part of the Innovation Expo. Okay. We use media and technology okay. to combat uh, online harm like misinformation, violent extremism, gender inequality. Okay. So you're the CEO of this company? That's right, yeah. Okay. Glad to meet you and your insights on the AI was very interesting. Thank you. So we'll be sharing more of your insights into my channel. Thank you so Great, much. thank you. Young people are extremely interested in this format of learning. If you have any young people in your life today and you tell them, hey, I need you to figure this out, you know they don't Google things. People like me Google things, millennials Google things, Gen Z YouTubes. They like to watch videos. They're visual learners. So the future of education is visual, it is edutainment. Um, and then we also make viral influencer marketing videos. Here are some of the videos we've made. Uh, one of the more famous ones is something we did in India. It's a sketch, it's a comedy video called I Want to Quit ISIS. Uh, it's about a young man who joins ISIS thinking it'll be really fun, uh, an adventurous, gets there, realizes he's making photocopies and printing lanyards and uh, wants to quit. So they say, okay, you can quit, but you have to go through an exit interview with ISIS's HR department. And the sketch is that interview where he exposes how ridiculous their ideology is, but in a funny way. That video got millions of views, it went viral, CNN did a story on it, Times of India, Hindustan Times, and guess what? Not a single piece of criticism in the newspaper. There was a scene where two characters were debating topics that touch upon religion, extremism, all these things. In a place like South Asia, usually that kind of discussion invites a lot of controversy. Nothing this time, because people were laughing. And um, as the great Oscar Wilde said, if you want to tell people the truth, make them laugh. Otherwise, they'll kill you. So um, please come to our booth if you want to know more about those videos. We'll play some of those on loop. But just to give you a quick example of the online literacy modules we were talking about, we created something called SMILE, a social media and internet literacy e-module in India. This woman is a very popular Instagram, YouTube, TikToker. Her name is Saloni Gore, huge comedian in India. She starred in these videos where we taught people how you can protect against misinformation, online harassment, threats to your privacy, but in a funny way. She played silly characters, um, and then we had multiple choice questions, and the people got a certificate at the end of it. The response was amazing. 35 schools bought Smile and have incorporated it into their curriculum. Um, it was endorsed by UNESCO, and 100% of the teachers that we were surveyed, these are thousands of teachers, reported high levels of student engagement with SMILE. So it definitely works. There was a lot of positive um, uh, 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 reviews as well on social media and in the press. Um, on the artificial intelligence side, as I mentioned, we have two products. One is called MyDAC. MyDAC is for monitoring mis- and disinformation. Uh, most famously, we've used it to monitor Russian, uh, uh, sorry, uh, disinformation related to the war between Russia and Ukraine right now. Um, and we have been uh, working with governments and public bodies uh, to provide this service. Um, and then Aldus is our AI content generator. This thing is like magic. If you come to our booth, I'll give you a demo. But you just tell it what you want it to say. You say, come up with a, a funny tweet about road safety in Saudi Arabia in the local dialect of Arabic. And it will do exactly that in like 0.3 seconds. Um, you make it an uh, angry Facebook post complaining about the ice cream flavors at Baskin Robbins, it will do that as well, in any language again. So it's, it's honestly kind of scary, and if anybody can guess why um, you get... So um, just a quick example of how we use MyDAC. I mentioned we've used it to combat disinfo related to Ukraine. We've identified over a thousand Twitter accounts that have... Uh, uh, 434 of those were removed by Twitter, and 517 voluntarily stopped tweeting after we publicly exposed them through our report. Um, we've also monitored dozens of distinct narratives um, that have helped governments and law enforcement agencies around the world to figure out what uh, propaganda is emerging and how they can counter it. We also saw a really interesting trend where if you monitor the creation of bot networks online, you can actually predict increases in military activity. These are graphs showing spikes in tweets by pro-Russian accounts uh, that were inauthentic accounts. So bots or cyborgs, which are human-controlled accounts that use automated technology to tweet faster. And as you'll notice, there were two spikes, one in the spring of 21, 
21 in the fall of 21. Both times, exactly 14 days later, we saw massive troop buildups of Russian tanks at the border. Um, Albus, just a very quick example, we did a campaign in India where we wanted to reach, our client wanted to reach young people uh, between the age of 16 to 25 in India with a campaign. But they didn't know how to talk to these young people on Facebook and Twitter. So we trained Albus on how to talk like influencers who are popular among those young people. These four influencers, they have millions of fans in India. So Aldis started talking like them, learned what kind of vocabulary, what kind of style, what kind of tone they use. And then Aldis created tweets and Facebook posts that would resonate with that target audience. The results were kind of amazing. The AI-generated content did much better than the humans they were trying to impersonate. So I can't stress this enough, the actual influencers that Aldis was imitating, their tweets and Facebook posts were not as well received as the AI that was pretending to be them, or that was trained on acting like them. And so there's a huge market here for AI influencers and AI generated content that's persuasive on social media. So we've got a global customer base, we're trusted by the world's largest governments, international organizations, tech companies, um, everything from Google and Facebook to the US State Department, the European Union, Canada, United Nations, and all of our customers have come back to use these services again and again. We've been getting a lot of traction in the media, especially with our Ukraine work, and doing a lot of work in North Africa, in the Middle East, and Libya, as you know, there's a huge conflict going on there, a lot of extremism and misinformation as well. So um, we hope to keep the trend alive by meeting many of you here. And again, we're at this booth uh, right where that uh, gentleman with the cool pants is standing. Um, and come by, see some examples of our videos and our tech, and uh, get some stickers. Thank you very much. Um, to meet, you could join us. Um